Hi, right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss another max my minimum values video, but now look at some examples. In my earlier video, I went over an introduction and went over these definitions for uh, local max and mins and absolute max and minimums. Basically, absolute max and minimums are the highest and lowest point or value of the function f. And uh, local max and mins are basically the relative max and mins of uh, f of x. Basically, it, for these ones, it's basically whenever you have a point like this, or like this, this would be, so these two points would be the absolute max, I mean this local max and local minimum, and if they're, they're the highest or lowest overall, they'll be the absolute max and mins, etc. So now I'm gonna go over these examples right over here. So basically example one is just go over the cos x, and then example two is x squared, example three is x cubed, and then example four is this complicated one over this range of uh, x is greater than or equal to negative one and less than or equal to four. So let's go over example one first. Just look over how an, how uh, the cos, uh, cosine function looks like. Yeah, so example one, fx equals cos x, and just try to get the local maximum of this. First thing we should always do is graph it. Uh, if you see my earlier videos on cosine, you'll know that it is basically a periodic uh, function. This is a regular trigonomic function. And it starts off at, when it's x is zero, you're gonna have a value of one. And then as you move by a pi over two, you're gonna get to zero. And then as you go over to here, which is, this is at uh, negative, I mean, this is at pi, so what do you move, as you move over here, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be at negative one. And then as you move further, it's gonna go back to, to zero right here at this point is three pi over two. So we're just moving by pi's over two and then it goes like this to ba back to one at two pi, and then it keeps going on and on forever, like this same pattern. So then in this case, uh, the absolute maximum is gonna be well one, and the absolute minimum is negative one. So at every one of these points, because as you can see, it goes back to it. So basically, this is this these would be the absolute minimums, and you could even point it out, this is ABS, let's we'll call ABS minimum. Yeah, so it has multiple absolute minimums, including this point right here, so it keeps going further and further, and the absolute maximums are basically these right here. And they're also local and uh, basically uh, local max and mins. Let's point this out. Then here I'll just write local and absolute max and min, so they're all the same. So it keeps going on and on forever, and if you were to write it as a function, you could see that uh, basically in this case right here this is 2 pi so we could write f of 2 pi and then n right here because n if, if n is 0 we get basically over here which is uh, f of 0 and if, if n is 1 we get 2 pi etc so basically equals to absolute absolute and local max or min and n is basically any integer so it's plus or minus 1 2 Three. So these are all plus or minus, plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, etc., including zero here. So including zero. Let's put that in to get that. And, and then what? Then if you want to just make a quick function for this odd ones, it's whenever you get to pi over here, or what you could do is just this, but then plus a pi, or just shift this part plus pi. So we can go f of two pi uh, n plus pi right here. So there we could just write it like this. And this is the absolute or local minimum. And it, all we're doing is basically shift th this this formula for these points. We're just shifting it by pi. So at zero we'll have pi. At two pi we'll have three pi, which is this point right here. So now let's look at example two, which is x squared. Yeah. So here, if you look at x squared, and if you were to graph it, when you have x zero, it's going to be zero. It's going to be basically going up like a parabola. So it'll just look something like this. And as you can see here, this point is the absolute and local, because uh, basically absolute, if you have an absolute min or max, it could be the local ones here when it's like this. Because anywhere near this zero value, you're gonna have it at local min. So ab absolute and, yeah, and, and local minimum. And as you can see, if you wanna look at, so this is keep going higher and higher. So then there is no maximum. So there is no max, loc no local or absolute max. Yeah, here I'll just write that down. So th this example is pretty straightforward. That just goes up like this. It's just, this so there's no local uh, or absolute max, but you have one point, which is which is absolute and local minimum. So now let's go over x cubed right here. 
Yeah, so now if we look at this x cubed, if you were to graph it, it would look something like this. And then it would go back up like this. It would curve like this and go back up, so it would go down. So now if you're trying to look at if there's a local max or min or absolute. So as you see, there is no absolute maximum because he keeps going higher. So we will write no absolute, yeah, no absolute max. And if you're looking for the absolute minimum, there, it keeps going down more and more. So as you can see, there is no absolute uh, minimum. Yeah, so there is none of these. So now if you're trying to look for local maximum, if you look at this point right here, if you're looking at near it, so as you can see from this side, it's less than this point. But then from this side near it is greater than this point. So in fact, you have no local min or max. Yeah, so let's write that down. So there's no local min or max, no absolute min or max. So you basically don't have a, any extreme value in this uh, equation. So now let's look at the final one, which is this complicated one. I'll just graph it actually with Google Graph and Calculator. Yeah, so here for this final example, it just states uh, you have y equals 3x4, 3x to the power of 4 minus 16 times x to the power of 3 plus 18 times x squared for basically this uh, domain of x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 4. So here I've graphed it with Google Graph and Calculator. As you can see, from here at negative 4, you'll have something like here go somewhere over here and if you compare this with the other highest point which is this over here which is 4 so if you draw it above 4 should be somewhere about about here so this is actually as you can see visually this is a bit less than uh, this one over here so then this point right here would be remember this is the end point so we can't have endpoints as local max or, or minimum so there's no endpoints allowed but this is the highest in our domain. Remember, this is this is our domain. So this is the absolute maximum right here. And basically, if you if you were to plug this into uh, the calculator and into the function, you should get this is basically f of negative one. Plug negative one inside, you'll get thirty seven. Yeah, so that is the absolute maximum. And now, if we look at this, z goes down, then up, then down. So then, uh, this is the uh, all, this is a clearly the uh, absolute minimum right here, and this point is actually yeah. If you were to plug this in a calculator, this would be actually three, and uh, this is yeah, negative twenty seven. So just plug that in. So this is the absolute minimum. Yeah, it's absolute minimum and actually local m uh, minimum as well. Remember, if it's something like this, if it's near it, it's always going to be bigger. I mean, it's always going to be less than any value near it, so it's obviously the absolute, the absolute and local minimum here. And now, if when we look at these parts right here, yeah, we see that at the origin right here, at this point, this is a local minimum right here. So local min, yeah, so it's, it's a local min. It just it's obvious. And now the last one over here, this is a abs, I mean, a local maximum right here because it goes up and then back down. So local max. And I'll just write these values here. This value is the, it's at the origin at 0, 0. Yeah, and this point right here is basically 1 and 5. If you were to plug it in, so plug in 1 inside, you'll get a 5 a function. And the last one, actually, at this end point, since this one, remember, this is an end point, uh, this is not the absolute maximum. This is, so there is nothing. So this one is, it has, it's not an absolute or local max. So this is just, we'll just put an X for none of the, none of the above. Anyways, that's, all for today. Hopefully you learned from uh, these examples and remember you can download these exact notes in the uh, link below and also watch related videos also in the description below. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.